I'm Katie Legrone. Nearly three dozen Florida education advocates and nonprofits are now demanding the state be more transparent about Florida's newly expanded universal school voucher program. According to the Florida Policy Institute, more than 410,000 school vouchers have been awarded since the legislature expanded the program this year to allow any family, regardless of income, to participate. The vouchers help supplement costs of private school or help parents pay for homeschooling their kids. But these groups say Florida's Department of Education is withholding critical information about the taxpayer-funded program, including details about who's getting the money, how many families are using the money for private school, and what the state plans to do if costs exceed the program's estimated $4 billion budget. Recently, we learned some of the state's allowable expenses under the program include items such as kayaks, paddle boards, big screen TVs, and theme park tickets. We're allowing voucher students to purchase things that we would be outraged if we ever saw our public schools um, spending money in this way. And, and we should hold them to the same level of accountability because those are tax dollars that they are receiving, hard-earned tax dollars. According to the Florida Policy Institute, Florida families awarded a school voucher are getting, on average, about $8,000 per child. I'm Katie Legrone reporting.